Hello, everyone. This is your host, John Smith, coming to you with another episode of the 3D Printing Insider Podcast. Today, we're going to dive into the topic of open versus enclosed 3D printers. So which type is better, open or enclosed? Well, as with most things in life, there isn't a single correct answer. It really depends on your specific needs and situation. Both printer styles have their pros and cons. With an open printer, you get the advantage of really being able to see everything that's happening. It's like having the glass walls in your house. You can peek in on the printing action anytime you want without any obstructions. This open view makes troubleshooting and tinkering much easier. However, it also means your prints are exposed to any drafts, dust, or temperature fluctuations in the room. Enclosed printers, on the other hand, keep everything nice and closed up inside a protective shell. This creates a controlled environment for your prints to happen, which leads to better consistency. But it also means anytime you need to check something or make an adjustment, you've got to open up the machine like it's your neighbor's grill, lifting the hood to see what's cooking under there. In terms of price, open printers are generally more affordable up front since they don't need all the fancy enclosure components. But the trade-off is your prints may not turn out as reliably, leading to more wasted material. Meanwhile, enclosed printers cost more initially, but could save you money in the long run with fewer failed prints. It's also important to consider the types of materials you want to use. While an open printer can handle basic PLA filament just fine, if you're looking to branch out into more advanced materials like ABS, nylon, or exotics like wood or metal composites, then the temperature and environment controls of an enclosed printer will serve you better. So in summary, folks, if you're just starting out in 3D printing and trying to learn on a budget, an open printer offers great transparency and tinkering. But if consistent quality is important, or you want to print specialty materials, you're better off shelling out more up front for the enclosure benefits. I hope this helps give you a better idea of whether open or closed is the right fit for your needs. Let me know if you have any other 3D printing questions. I'd be happy to answer them on a future episode. Until next time, happy printing.